<laughs> well, women who act for understandable reasons prefer usually to be called actors, not actresses. Uh, that is, until it's awards time and they're prepared to make an exception and be nominated into the category Best Actress. Uh, and that is the category we've now arrived at. In an ideal world, um, uh, to present the award, I would have been able to introduce last year's winner of Best Actor, you know, the star of A Single Man, The King's Speech, and Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, a man so brilliant, so talented, and so successful that we would have been bowled over by his presence with us. But, ladies and gentlemen, it turns out we do live in an ideal world, because behold, the Colin they call Firth. Good evening. It's my great privilege to present in a category in which I've been grievously overlooked, actress <laughs> in a leading role. Let's have a look at the nominees. <laughs> Michelle Williams, My Week with Marilyn. There will be nothing to Davis, the help. <laughs> just 24 years old, Miss Skeeter, best part of a person's life. Anniversary of his death. <laughs> Every year I can't breathe. But to y'all, it's just another day of bridge. Meryl Streep, the Iron Lady. Gentlemen, could perhaps attend more closely to what I am saying rather than how I am saying it. He may receive a valuable education in spite of himself. Berenice Bejer, the artist. Tilda Swinton, we need to talk about Kevin. <laughs> and the BAFTA goes to Meryl Streep. I couldn't have done this. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, somebody once said, I think it was Margaret Atwood. Actually, I always say it was Margaret Atwood, but I, I don't even know if she said this. <laughs> but somebody once said, the fate of the well-known is to be misunderstood. And um, the ambition of this film, The Iron Lady, was to look at the life of the Iron Lady from the inside out and to locate something real, maybe hidden, but truthful in the life of someone that we've all decided we all know everything about already. And I'm very proud of the film, and I owe so much to Phyllida Lloyd, Abby Morgan, 
Pathé, Damien Jones, oh, for sticking with this, for asking and expecting so much of me. Um, I want to thank the soulful Jim Broadbent, the divinely gifted Olivia Coleman, my beloved moths, all 300 beautiful actors and crew that worked on this wonderful film. And to say that half of me is Streep, but the other half is Wilkinson from Lincolnshire. So I come by it, honestly, this part. Thank you very, very much. I'm so grateful. Prince Charming tried the slipper on and it fitted Cinderella at once. What a happy ending. Uh, it follows as the knight, the dame, that if there is